Good evening, folks, and welcome back yet again, and I promise this time, this time, despite the lateness of the hour, because I started, as always, a bit later than expected, you know, at some point I'm going to have to start expecting that it happens so often. In any case, I am going to carry on with and play a bit more of Breath of the Wild, hopefully this time without any interruptions. So, if I remember correctly, when I last left off, I was in this shrine that I had no clue what I was supposed to do with it. Yeah, this thing. The one with the, uh, the sheave and ear thing. Now, after thinking about it for a moment, it occurred to me that this might not even, uh... I might not have even found the twin to the shrine yet, because I looked over at the other one that was on the other side of the Dueling Peaks, and... There wasn't anything there that looked remotely like what's in the shrine. So it leads me to believe there might be a third shrine. Well, second, I suppose, for that particular peak over there that I've missed. And that one probably has the layout similar to this one. So until I find that one... Until I find that one, I'm not going to bother with uh, this. Although that one might... Is that it? No, that's a completely different shrine. Way over there on that lake that I apparently haven't seen yet. You're just tripping over shrines in this place. That. That right there is the shrine I'm looking for. How about that? Uh huh. Alright, well, I guess maybe I'll be solving these two sooner than I thought. Let's see what's going on in here. Had I just looked over the cliff, I would have found. And it appears the easiest way here is to just. glide from that one to this one. Even that shrine. There you go. That seems pretty, uh. Seems like the likely candidate. Now, something tells me this is gonna be one of those things where I need to get myself a, uh. pencil and a bit of paper because. guaranteed, I'm not going to remember the layout of these two places, so I'm going to have to, uh, do a thing. Shivanath. Alright. Trying to stop these peaks, share a connection, their memory, the answer to the other's question, commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. Failure. I am well aware that I am quite a failure, but... Alright, so let's head topside, and we'll mark the positions of these spheres. I can't help but think there might be something else in either one or both of the... Like, there's a ledge over there. What's over on that ledge, I wonder? I might have to, uh... Examine that after I deal with this. Okay, so we've got a 5x5 five five grid, right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to, on this lovely notepad I have here, this is some old school puzzle solving in the game, marking shit down, I am going to make a 5x5 five five grid. One, two, Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, let us observe where these things are placed. 
Okay, walk a little bit further to the top here. Okay, so if we're looking at it from the top, there's this one. Second one in. The next line has the... Uh, hold on now. Okay, so second one in. And the next one up has the second one in from the right. And the next one up... Second one in from the left. The next one up breaks the pattern, of course, and is the first one on the left. And the last is the very last one on the right, so maybe there's still a pattern involved here. Okay, alright. So now... Now let's go over to Shivanath and input this sequence. Part of that, though, let's jump over here. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a chest. The Serpentine Spear. The spearhead of this weapon is uniquely Sheikah in design. Spear masters of the Sheikah tribe can use a crescent shape to snag their opponents and deliver brutal cuts. But my inventory is full. Ah, I need to find that Hestu guy so I can get more inventory space. Um... I mean, the Eightfold Blade is almost broken, so maybe I'll drop that. I get the feeling I might find more of those, anyway. Um, for now, however... Well, honestly, the spear might be the best thing to keep equipped. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's the weakest of the way. It's weaker than even the hoe. It's got reach, though. Reach is important. Anyway, let's uh, head on back over to Shivanir and see what's going on. Oh, there's little uh, little outcroppings there that may help climbing that cliff, but not that much, to be honest. Um, unless there's something on them. Doesn't look like it. Let's just use my magical teleportation abilities to get up to Shivanir Shrine. Teleportation. Oh, I'm ready for you now, you jerk. Wait, what? Nope. Nope! <laughs> I mean, they're not terribly frightening, but nope! Okay, this time for sure, although I'm still going to want to head up there because on that side there... Well, this is the... Wait. This might not even work because this might be a mirror image dealio. I don't know, let's find out, shall we? Let's say, what did this thing say again? I don't know, let's just put things in the exact same sequence as uh, the other shrine, and from there we'll decide. Okay, so this was the second one in from the... Second one in from the left, this one was the second one in from the right. This one was the second one in from the left. This one was all the way to the left. Okay. 
And this one all the way to the right. And... Perfect! <laughs> For a minute there, I thought that wasn't gonna work. Although before I did that, I should have marked the positioning of the balls here. Crap, because that that's going to be the answer to the other shrine, isn't it? Oh, well, I'll just exit and come back. I mean, I'm gonna get booed out of the shrine uh, after I talk to the mummy anyway. We have in here. Eight fold long blade. I think I've already got one of those anyway, don't I? I do. I could get rid of one of these other things, but honestly, it's not a new weapon, and none of these are close to broken yet, so it's probably not really worth it. Although I could probably get rid of the sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah, let's get rid of the sledgehammer and take that, because sledgehammers seem to be a dime a dozen, so... And if I really want to use it for mining, I can just, uh... Like, if I really want to mine things, I can just blow it up. More dangerous, obviously, but it should serve the purpose. Now, they got fancy lifts over there, but they can't spring for a... Spring for a lift here. This mummy seems a bit more chill than the rest. Seems a bit more to be in a relaxed pose. A little bit. I have two of those now. Now let us leave this place and immediately turn around and re-enter this place. If you jump when you- wait, you can shield surf? That's interesting. I may have to test that. Actually, s crap. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oh, I can't climb this hill? Oh, now I can climb this hill. Uh, no, I was meant to go back in there to look at the... yeah. I got distracted by the ability to uh, shield surf. Apparently. Okay, this time. Let's make myself yet another 5x5 five five grid. Alright. This is all reset, that's good. Although, you know, I don't even really ask where it's just well to go up there. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't really need to go up here, but... It's this way I'll get myself a better look at it. Alright. So, in this case... The initial one is on the far right. Uh, second one up is... Well, the next one up is dead center. Next one is on the far left. Right, and the second one in from the left. Perfect. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, that's a pretty sunrise. Oh, that's a bunch of dead things. Interrupting my pretty sunrise. Oh crap. <laughs> Look. You're interrupting my pretty sunrise! Oh, I didn't realize I could... What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. Now let me appreciate the pretty sunrise. Nice. Anyway. Wait, I think I am missing... Yeah, I'm missing a bow. Okay, after this, one more orb, and I can increase my stamina. Because that is the next thing I plan on doing. Okay, so that right there, if we're taking this thing as being the, um, start point, then, in that case, the first orb has to be all the way over here. Oh yeah! Didn't go far enough. Next up, the orb has to be in the center. Up, the orb has to be all the way to the left. Yep. Yep. It has to be right yep. there. And this one. Yep. Right there. Perfect. Does Ishika think they can outsmart me? Well, to be honest, they probably could, but... Even the mummy is a mirror image. It's one leaning to the other side. Alright, where are we gonna go now, I wonder? I've uncovered plenty of shrines, or at the very least I've found them. They can probably wait till later though. Lord knows I'm probably gonna come across more. Uh, I think my next order of business would be to go... <laughs> my poor horse left all the way over there. No, I think my next order of business would be to go all the way down to the end of this river, because I think that is, uh... That is where that treasure, those two dongs in the stable were looking for. If that's the case... Mosey on over this way, shall we? Perfectly acceptable way into mine. Okay, that's how you. No, that's the bomb.
thing I'm trying to figure out how you uh, how you would shield surf. I know the tip showed it, but I didn't read it all the way through, so I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay, so the river is that way. Da, da, da. <laughs> Here I am, still trying to figure it out. Check out this small patch of trees first, though. Maybe there's something interesting over here. Like land based octorocks, apparently. I know you're there. <laughs> Can't hide from me. appears to be something in a hole in that tree. Let's go take a look at that. What is that? Yeah. Kinda figured one of those jerks would be here. Nah, he's gone. Can, can I ride that? I mean, this is probably going to be a terrible idea. I'm probably going to get myself killed, but if I can ride that, that'd be great. I'm not here, damn it. Fine, I want to play that way. I swear I will catch one of your ilk some other time. What's that? What is that? Oh, it's the whatever it is again. The scary thing I saw in the distance before. I shall not be too distracted from my, uh, from my go. A hearty lizard. This rare lizard lives deep in the forest. It feeds on high nutrient foods, giving it great vitality when used to make elixirs. They temporarily increase your maximum hearts. Ooh, nice. Also, I don't think I need the, uh... Warm double as a climbing hat anymore, so let's take that stuff off. They're not really that worth my time. Okay, I'm heading in the right direction at least. I don't know if I'd find more interesting things if I actually traveled along the river, but... I must explore every nook and cranny. Because there might be a shrine nearby. Although I get the feeling this shrine might be down below, perhaps.
I wonder. Nope. <laughs> Can't ride it. Okay, now the shrine is still in this direction. Maybe. I don't know. See, the shrine indicator thing is great, but that still doesn't necessarily mean you're going to find them all the time. Because this might not even be the same one I'm going towards, this might be a different one. Yeah, see, because this is leading me to... Uh, I don't know. Let's head over this way. No. Alright. Let's keep going this way, then! Can I get up there, I wonder? Let's find out, shall we? Looks like there's a few outcroppings I can use as safe havens while I'm climbing. Also, it's raining, though. back there somewhere, though. Wherever it may be. Oh crap. <laughs> Come back. Can I destroy it with this stuff? Not easily. Although, well, you know, it could be that Thief's Great Treasure was actually a shrine. That could be, too. There's the waterfall. So what does my... Uh, oops, I didn't mean that. Um, what does my quest thing tell me? Little twin steps over the little river and my cave rests above that river's source. Well, that is the little river. This is its source. And this is a cave! Mm, soldier spear, not terribly, uh... Useful, really, I don't think. Sapphire. I only.
all we need to find one thing. Luminous stone. This mysterious mineral gives off a pale blue glow in the dark, which some believe to be the souls of the dead. Apparently, the stone can be used as a base to make special clothing, eh? Hmm. See, this is why I, I'm wary of selling any of the gems I find, because it seems like I can use them to make things. Toasted hearty truffle. Roasted bird drumstick. How long has that been on here? Also, it looks like we're not done yet. Aha! Flame blade. The magical sword was forged in the lava of Death Mountain. It leaves white hot flames in its wake, and the blade glows red. Okay, I'm definitely going to need to get rid of something to take that. Um, do I really need to keep the hoe? I mean, it's pretty comical, but do I really need to keep it? I mean, the boomerang does less damage, but it's a boomerang, so I can see the use of that. Now let's get rid of the hoe. Alright. There is a shrine very close nearby, though. I would imagine there's probably one down there. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I did not mean to throw that at you, I'm sorry. I wonder. I think uh, the careful application of bomb arrow might do the trick here. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah. Whether this is the only one that's in this area, I don't know, but this will give me four, which gives me the opportunity to... Upgrade stamina, there we go. I think that's the pattern I'm going to do. I'm going to do like two hearts, then stamina boost. Just to up my survivability. This is new. Totosa. The shrine of Toto. The Totosa apparatus. Ooh. Now you've got my interest. See, the funny thing is, I turned off motion controls, but apparently you need them for this. So the apparatus just involves using, using the motion controls to do things.
This is weird, man. I don't know if I like it. Okay. I don't need to get it line up perfect. Okay. That should do. So I'm assuming this shaker was a bit of a jackass. Coming up with these bizarre mechanisms. Damn, what am I supposed to do with this one? God, I have to turn the controller upside down. Dude, no. Wait a minute, what's that? Dude, 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 stop that. Okay, where's the B button? There's the B button. Alright. Um. Okay, <laughs> let's get me that treasure chest before I do anything else. Really? <laughs> so where the hell is the door in here? Is it on this thing? Or is it on the other side? But no, on the other side is just the... Uh... Or do I need... I probably needed the key to get to the, uh... Get to the, uh... Mummy. Hey. So I need to tilt it a bit more this way. No, 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 no. No, stop that. Alright, now we need to need to rotate it like Okay. Let's try that. That should be good enough. It's not pretty, but it serves the purpose. I'm going to punch this one square in the face when I find it. I was never a fan of motion controls, not really. You. I got a bone to pick with you. I don't care if you do have some form of awesome headgear going on. Or some kind of back fan, I don't know what it is. dealt with, I think what I'll do is I'll explore the Hickley Woods a little bit and then make my way north to the stable. And after that, go upgrade my stamina and go to the place I actually need to go. Bear. Yeah. 
Oh crap, the battery on my controller is uh, starting to die. Oh dear. Well, it says it's low, anyway. This may be yet another short-lived stream if that happens. It dropped a rupee. You can't climb the tree, right? Nope. Nope. Oh dear, that's that's strong. That's too strong. Link needs food badly. Unbound. It's my motto. You don't see anything. Don't bother me chasing skeleton things. Speaking of, what the hell is this? Can I blow it up? I cannot. Well, that might be that works. the bass. Bass has been cooked to a hole over an open flame. It's flaky and savory smell. Offers more hurts than the raw version. That's a large tree. Maybe there's something on that. Now, I don't know 100% if this is true or not, but I think somebody told me there's like a hundred, no, not a hundred, a hundred is a very low number, 900 of those things kicking around. 
and I have been told that the reward for finding them all is not that fantastic. I didn't even notice this guardian was there. I still have a torch, or did I give it up for- yeah, I gave it up for a weapon. Well, if that's the case, let's cook up some things while I'm here. Uh, let's see... Let's see if I can make some elixirs, eh? I'm gonna make a, an elixir out of this guy. Get some monster parts for that, let's use the Moblin Horn. Maybe a key swing, why not? See what that let's see what that does, if anything. these things. Ooh, something good's happening. Enduring elixir restores stamina and temporarily extends your stamina wheel. Nice. No, that's good for right now. So I left Mukau all the way, Lord knows where. Oh. <laughs> Just be sure you don't put your horse in a dangerous situation. Man, dangerous situations are all I know. Okay, so that's the way that leads out to that town, eh? I don't really need to upgrade my stamina right now. I won't bother with that just yet. Let's just head on over to that village and uh, carry on with the main quest, shall we? I've already spoken to you, fond folks. <laughs> For some reason, I thought there'd be something interesting behind that wall, and I was mistaken. <laughs> this, on the other hand, seems interesting. <laughs> It's just Kakariko Bridge. Never mind. Not as interesting as I thought. Maybe something on top of that cliff, though. Won't hurt to check that out. There's a bunch of dead guys on that cliff. That's that's about it. Thanks for proving me wrong, dead guys.
Those birds just magically appeared from nowhere. It's a miracle. I can go jousting. That's great. Pressure chest over there. I don't feel like dealing with it right now, but it might be worth checking out later. I really like that you can mark stuff on the mini map in this game, it's great. There's just so many things for you to uh, check out that would be a pain in the hole to stop, like, drop everything and check everything out. That goat just destroyed that bush. There's a lot of guardians here. A lot of, a lot of dead guardians. And that must be because they were attacking... This place. Or Tatano, eh? Wake up. Yeah. For real. I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't. I was praying for the souls of the warrior and all those all who died here at Fort Tatano. That's a totally different thing. That's bull, and you know it. You're welcome to join me if you want. That's a pretty enlightened thing to say for such a young kid. I am a century old. I am over a century old. Fort Hateno was the last line of defense between Hateno Village and the terrible tragedy all those years ago. If not for this fort, and the soldiers who held the line here, Hyrule as we know it might be gone entirely. It's our duty as the survivors to pray that those who gave their lives f find peace, and to pass on the story of the warrior. So, is the warrior me, or are you talking about someone else? Because I would have thought I was at the castle when all this happened. Hey, a raft. I can't help but think that might be a cork, but I don't really know what to do with it. Maybe if I had a cork leaf, I'd be able to ah, spin it, but not much odds. Ooh, that, that's pretty. It's also an interesting way to go uh, woodcutting. Probably frowned upon by most environmentalists, though. Follow me, horse. Check this place out. Hmm. 
I was unable to come. Of course not. My controller's giving me the low battery warning again. That's not a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> There's a worn-looking book here. Would, would you like to read it? When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Oh no, not the bees! So I assume there's a tower around here somewhere I can activate. For now, let's just keep following the road until I find the Tano village. As long as my batteries hold out anyway. Oh, hey, who are you? Oh, hold on, horse. <laughs> I can tell you've trained your body well. Are you coming on to me? I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Iga clan? Huh? What? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. The Iga clan, it's... A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero throughout that long dead. Ah. Okay. Oh, oh crap. Oh. Okay. A vicious sickle. A grim weapon favored by the Yiga. The half-moon shape of the blade allows for rapid delivery of fatal wounds and serves as a symbol of their terror. It's your abilities, look. Mighty Bananas! It grows mainly in tropical forests of the uh, Farron region. When it's used as an ingredient, the resulting dish will temporarily increase your attack power. Well, uh, this uh, spear is starting to get pretty busted, so let's take the vicious sickle instead, shall we? I also like how they still straight up call me a hero, even though they're trying to kill me. You'd think they'd have a harsher view on me. I was like, no, he's still obviously the hero, though. We're the bad guys, we just don't care. I mean, how often does somebody straight up call themselves a villain? Hi. I do not know the purpose of your journey, but there is a place that I would recommend you pay a visit to. Deep in the recesses of Mount Lan Lanaryu, Lanayru, <laughs> lies a spring, the Spring of Wisdom. It is a storied spring to which I am making a pilgrimage. Where is Mount Lanryu? Len Lene Ryu. The something. <laughs> Whatever, I'll find it later. Still haven't found a tower yet either. Maybe it's closer to the village itself. Hey! 
Oh, that was impressive. Not so impressive would be getting killed by that thing. Are there a couple of uh couple of people here? Where are they? Maybe she just strolled on by or ran off while uh, the action was happening. I know Boca Bun laying right over there. It's okay though, it's not my concern right now. Equestrian riding course. Interesting. You don't see nothing. I'm not here. As dangerous as I thought. Still kind of dangerous, though. Um, let's break out the sword. Here. Hmm. I can actually just go within their swings, and they won't uh, won't be able to hit me. Can I not pick up that, uh, that shield? Hmm. Anyway, whatever. That. <laughs> Come back here! Ah, uh, that was a missed opportunity. Away, from the way. Jerk put himself on fire. through all the weapons now, aren't I? Use my uh, lightsaber here, see how that works for me. enemies over here. I thought this area was supposed to be safer than this. Let's climb to the top of this and take a look around. Well, I see where the tower is now. <laughs> Okay, before going into the village, I think I need to hit that place up first. Come, Wukao! Hmm. 
The Mighty Moo Cow. Best name for a horse ever. You can't judge me. Perhaps that, uh, I don't know why I bother checking the map. I don't have a map yet. But perhaps the land bridge I saw earlier leads me across to... Yeah, it does too. Alright. I'm sorry I just caused you to ram head first into a rock wall. Can you ever forgive me? Well, heroes can be very well renowned for their animal cruelty, I guess. Especially in video games. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Jerk nearly knocked me clean into the water. He has a broom. I need that. That's going to be mine. Ah, Hillian Rice. This grain is a favorite among the residents of Kakariko Village. It's grown in regions with a lot of water and is quite versatile. Used as an ingredient in things like risotto and rice balls. Wooden mop! Just a mop to the untrained eye, it excels at tidying up the place, but it owes its sturdy construction to a true craftsman, so it actually has some combat merit. So, forget that traveler's sword, I'm taking that wooden mop. I am the legendary Janitor! <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm driving a mop into the thing's crotch every time I've hit it. Just ride on by and just spear a moblin in the crotch with a mop. I am the true hero. Leave that go below. Only I may abuse the animal life in this area. That is shockingly effective. Okay, you chill out here for a moment, horse. I'm gonna go check this place out. Oh no, low battery. Again. <laughs> I'm surprised my controller hasn't died yet. I'm 
I'm gonna keep going until it does, though, so. Ooh, that's pretty. Is that Hateno Village? Is that a shrine? I can't really tell. I'm going to mark it as such for now. We'll know for certain if it's anything else later. Okay, thankfully, due to my mad dash into, uh... Well, into the environs around Hyrule Castle, I know how to deal with the horns. There we go. I was gonna say, I was thinking it wasn't gonna work. Should I, uh, I should equip the climbing thing. That was a bad idea. <laughs> that was a bad idea! <laughs> Estimate my climbing prowess. Actually, no, that can't be a shrine over there because they only turn blue after you've completed them, don't they? Well, that looks like a shrine over there, too. Well, that is within Hateno Village, so... Or at least it appears it is. for the rest of this, I don't think. I should be able to climb around the thorns. <laughs> now, my right-hand controller is apparently dying. <laughs> Can't say I'm too surprised. I mean, both of them should go at the same time. See, one thing I don't really like about the Switch is, as far as I know, the only way you can charge your controller... Oh crap, I shouldn't stop there. Okay. The only way you can charge your controller is if you slot both of them into the sides of the, uh... The, the, the system itself. Like, I don't, uh... I don't think there's any way you can hook it up to the system via some sort of USB cable like you can with the Xbox One or the PS4 one. I don't know if there's a peripheral you can get for that, but if there is, I don't have it. So, I'm just going to have to put up with the constant warnings until eventually the battery dies. I mean, I can carry on playing it if I take these slotted into the side and take the system out and, you know, play it as a tablet, but then I'm going to disconnect it from the TV and my, uh, 
capture card, so that kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> wow, this area is big. A lot of mountain. Oh, that's Mount Lanryu there. Uh, Laneru. Laneru. Peak of Awakening. Trotter's Downfall. Pierre Plateau! Oval Plain. Pond. Furley Pond. Ebon Mountain. Hmm, there's an island out there. I wonder how we get to that. Yeah, this is a really, really big area. And way over there is the stables. Is that the shrine, or is that the top? I think that might be the top of the tower. I don't know, I'm not going to bother marking it. That looks interesting. Looks like the bones of a giant dead creature. That's definitely a shrine. Bam. Alright, now that we've done that, let's, uh... Head our way to Hateno Village. <laughs> that had to hurt the horse. Oh, I can uh, get around to the village through here. And I can head on over to the thing I thought was a shrine, but probably isn't. Go have a looky loo, shall we? Maybe I didn't see anything. something blue there. Whatever it may be. A hearty radish. A rare radish that grows best in sunny places. So obviously I find it growing next to a cave. Chickaloo tree nut. Small birds love this nut. You can eat it raw or for a minor effect, but it can also be added as spice to other recipes. Spice must flow. Crap! Crap! Hmm. It's like a mineral deposit of some kind. Now let's see. Look, you jerks. Nice key swing. Well, this is clearly not what I thought it was, so I can get rid of that stamp. Climb on top of that, apparently. Um, can't tell you what. Yep. Okay, 
maybe I'll have better luck doing that up here. Nice. Perfect. Swimming. He's fine. Yep. I wish I'll help us ride the mighty Moo Cow and ride away. Huh. For some reason, this place seems important, but I could be mistaken. <laughs> and my batteries are dead. <laughs> I think. Yeah, my batteries are gone. Blast. Of course, I had to have them as soon as I uh, went into combat, too. Um, I might have a way I can work around this. Let me test it for a moment. <laughs> it's going to be a really stupid way I can work around this, but hey, if this works, then great. I'll carry on at least long enough to get to Hateno Village, if this indeed does the trick. Okay, so, controller in, controller in, let me just knock over a few things here, like I do. My cat is looking at me like I'm a mental case. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hold on. All right. I think we're good. Okay, we're good. Let me see if it reconnected on the uh, stream there. All right, now let's carefully lift up the thing. And... Ah... Uh, I can't do it like that. I was just going to pick up the whole console itself and just try to play it, play it like that. Um, okay. Um, you know what? Tell you tell you what I'm gonna do. I was gonna take a little break to get a quick drink anyway, so I'm just going to leave the controllers um, plugged in there while I'm doing that, and I'll be back in I'd say about five minutes or so, and. Uh, Hopefully the controllers will be charged enough for me to go to Hateno Village. I'm just going to, at the very least, try to get that far before I stop for the night. So, <laughs> it kills me to say this, but uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to take a quick charge break. I'll be right back.
Okay, I have returned. I can imagine the amount of time I allowed the controllers to charge is going to be hardly worth anything at all, but hopefully it will give us enough time to get to Hateno Village. I would hope. If not, I'm afraid I'm going to have to call it quits there for the evening. Man, I really hope I find uh, more spears at some point, because they're really surprisingly effective. Yep. Kinda missing my sledgehammer now, though. On the road again. devoid of any sort of treasure. Not so neat. <clears throat> or at least it would appear. Nice little campsite, though. Keep that in mind. Also, more horse. Not even going to attempt to get any of those yet. I need to increase my stamina before I try to get any more of those guys. Like, get anything better than what I have now. Hey, a person! Or is it another member of the Ego Clan? <laughs> hmm, what's that word? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't think of it. It starts with L, ends with K. What is it, though? Is it lick? <laughs> oh, that word. That's when you use your tongue to taste something, right? Yeah, lick. Hmm. Not the word I wanted, though. Uh... Hmm, what's that word on the tip of my tongue? I'm not going to have any choice but to... Well, may as well let's just take all my options. Uh... Isn't that when you kind of sneak around and listen in on others? I think it is... The word sounds like that, too. Not the word I was thinking of, though. Huh? Ooh, the long vegetable! Wait, is it a vegetable? I actually don't know. Regardless, not the word I was looking for. Uh. <gasps> oh, right, the Hillian champion, or so I've heard, somewhere. That's you, right? You're Link. <laughs> Lay down your life. That wasn't very sneaky of you at all. <coughs> also, I can't help but notice that that uh, member of the Yiga clan look exactly like the last member of the Yiga clan that tried to ambush me, so... Maybe they're not as sneaky as everyone says they are. I mean, it's just as well to talk to them and keep attacking them, though, I guess. Get more sickles that way. Yes, I know there's a shrine nearby. <laughs> I 
somebody who requires my aid. That's not the arrow I should use. I was starting to sweat until you showed up. Holy cow! <laughs> Something tells me I'm going to be saving that for a time when I actually have the hurts that I require it. <laughs> time to stop floofing around here. Let's get back to our hunt for hearty truffles. Who's the other one? Megan, we were minding our own business, hunting for truffles, and then wham! Monsters out of nowhere! I blame my sister, really. She's the one who refuses to go home until we find some hearty truffles. But there's more... ...Bacoblins around here, but alright. I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm going the wrong way. You be on your way on your way, you suspicious man. Mm. You certainly do appear to be a Hillian like the rest of us. Hillians are generally good folk. That's racist. Assuming the Hillians are the only good folk. So sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well you can get most things you need at the general store, the inn is just back there. Right now, I'm after that shrine, thank you very much. Yeah. Hey, mister! <laughs> you never guess what I found, wanna see? Hey, follow me. <laughs> you may as well leave the horse behind. I. Selden, you've got the look of a traveler. Is this your first time in Hateno Village? Well, you're in luck because you're a life you have a lifelong resident to show you around. Not right now, please. I'm following this child first. Wait, is he bringing me to the shrine? No, he's bringing me somewhere else, I think. Is he bringing me to this? No. Yes, okay. <laughs> Here it is! Neat, huh? It looks kind of like the statue at the chief's house. What do you think of this? Seems vaguely evil. Ah, so there are some who still pay me homage. You can talk? You don't say. You can hear my voice? Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life? Wealth, like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power, that was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She trapped me in this stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here called me the horn, call me the horn statue, and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. One would think years upon years of such treatment would have made me mend my ways. One would think wrongly. 
I've been only bi I've only been biding my time for the moment someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. But I've said enough. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Then stay that way. No further action on your part is required. What? What? Bah ha ha. My touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. But I needed that! That lets me live! Are you talking to that statue? Wow! You can talk to statues? Weird. Okay, see ya. Give me that back, you bastard! Horn statue in Nintendo Village took one of your containers. The only thing to do is talk to him and try to convince him to give it back. What's wrong then? Have your prayers gone unanswered? <laughs> Did you think I'd deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So which will it be? As I may have mentioned once or twice, I'm a dealer in life and power. I can provide a valuable service to you. I take heart containers or stamina vessels from you. And then, for a price, return whichever of the two you like. Wise choice now remains still. You look skeptical, not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either type of essence for a hundred rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to a hundred and twenty rupees. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you, a heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help tamper with your essence any time you want to return and pray here. I don't... 100% see the benefit of that. <laughs> I think I'll just stick with finding the shrines and getting the spirit orbs. I suppose what I can do is I can get rid of all my hurts and boost my stamina. Or if I got an extra stamina, I get rid of that and boost my. But no, not no, not doing it. A new age of comfort. Bolson construction homes ooze quality from every seam. Explore our model homes today. Okay, that must have, uh... That stamp must have popped up in the wrong spot. Because the shrine is right there. And let's check that out before I check out the model homes, I guess. Although maybe I should just head straight on to uh, finish the quest and talk about getting my memories back. Again. So the uh, battery situation doesn't become a problem anymore. So what's the deal with this place? Oh, it's another one of those apparatus ones. Great. Oh, it's one of these things, though. That's kind of neat. Um... I remember I had something like this when I was a kid. It was like a, for lack of a better term, a board game. But, it, same thing, there was a little metal ball on the track and you had to uh, tilt the... tilt the board in such a manner that you'd move it the right way. Oh, 
one can see this being annoying, though. No, bastard. Okay. Yeah, the big open space down there is going to be my downfall, isn't it? And if I tilt it too high, I'm just going to toss the thing into the air. That's great to know. Okay, maybe gentle touches are going to do the job here. Ah, close that time. Hmm. I wonder if I can tilt it enough so I can smack it into the uh, right lane before it falls. Probably not. Oh, that worked. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> no, okay. That, I probably need to position this so I can jump into the uh, maze. Perfect! Success is mine. Hmm, I don't think that's tilted down enough for me to be able to get up. Let's, uh... Tilt it down a bit further and see if we can get this to work for me. should be tilted down enough for me to hop on. Or not. <laughs> that didn't work. Maybe if I jump at it from this angle. Nope. <laughs> okay, I need to tilt it down a bit more. Elsewise, I just foolishly jumped to my death again. Although it's not really death as much as inconvenience, is it? And that should be low enough, I hope. No, I'll make it too low, because if I do, then I might not even be able to climb up the thing. Okay. <laughs> that was barely successful. Renick Bow, a bow passed down through the Sheikah tribe, concentrating before drawing the string will allow you to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. Interesting. 
Mm, let's get rid of... Okay. Um, mostly I just have Traveler's Bow, so let's just get rid of the one I've been using. Is it just gonna... Oh, getting my little battery warnings again. Oh wait, no, I know how I can get out of here without falling to my death. There. Yeah, so I think I'll just go headlong into, uh, well, after I'm done with this shrine, I'll ignore everything else in Hateno Village, just go to where I need to do uh, need to go to finish off the quest and probably call it quits there. I don't want to have to screw around with the, uh, controller battery again, so. <laughs> yeah. Cooking secrets. Using more of an effect imparting group. More of an that uh, will increase the. Oh, Alright. Good. Okay, so we need to go. Yep, the, uh, the hut on top of the mountain, I expected that. Sadly, this means I'm going to have to ignore everybody in town and just head straight up the mountain. Oh, maybe I'll talk to the people I meet along the way. It's true! I really saw her! Uh, oops. Sorry. There's a girl staying up at the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. I saw her come outside. She was right over there, it's true. Oh. But when I tried to tell a grown-up about it, they said only peop that the only people who live there are an old man and an old woman. She was a Sheikah girl, I swear. No one ever listens to kids. Funnily enough, that's exactly where I'm going, I believe. No big surprise there, though, I guess. I suppose I could have ridden the horse all the way in here, but meh. Hi, who are you? You probably don't care for horsey facts, but that's all I've got to offer. So hold on to your... well, you know. The secret to holding on to your horses, by the way, is to approach them quietly from behind and then hop on quick. Once you're on, give them a little pet and then let them know you care. Ah. Alright. Hateno Pasture, Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Must be way up on that cliff. Ah. Is there really a girl there? No! Safaro, have you seen the girl? Ah. No luck! There's nothing here! Why is everyone so interested in this apparent girl that's living up there? I don't get it. Girl, girl from the Sheikah tribe. Is there really one here? Yeah. Azu, want to go see if it's true about the little girl? Oi. Mm, my ma says I shouldn't get too close to the research lab. 
You kids are crazy stalkers. I want no part of this. But I'm going to go up there and find out for uh, find out for myself anyway. No soliciting. You gotta put out a no soliciting sign. Shows people you mean business. Also, those trees seem very strange to me. I don't know why. There's a single single tree on each peak. Seems very regular. Mind the lanterns. Okay. Enter at your own risk. And a very friendly bunch, are they? If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. And it's one amazing telescope. Uh, let's go have a look. Okay. Hello. This is the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Snowboards? <laughs> is that what those things are? Are you the director? Yeah. Simon. Hello! I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm. Hmm. Is that... that thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it, that's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis. Ah, uh, Magnesis, yes, yes. The Remote Bomb and Cryonis. And what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but... Mm, strange. Doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ha, <gasps> where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are... Link, right? You don't seem surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Impa cut me up to speed. Oh, never mind. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. <sighs> Director, listen, Miss Director. This is a real Sheikah slate. <sighs> oh, that's right, I haven't introduced our Director. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. But... You told me that... Okay. As a Taino Ancient Tech Director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check it! Rock on. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link... You see, the Director may look like a young girl, but, mm. well... Maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. <laughs> hey, hey! Are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon, it's me! Snappity snap! <laughs> anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? Don't call me Linky. You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter, I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky? What's with that look? You do still remember me, right? No? Really? Well, I'm so shocked I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though a hundred years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you- Why are you so young? Even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration, 
Despite all that, you still don't remember me? No. Homo, homo. Mm, as expected. After a hundred years in the slumber of restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, well, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? No. Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude! Mm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist that you refrain from reading it. I'm sorry that ship has sailed. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment, and to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. Lady, I've got the Triforce of Courage. Don't you backtalk me. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Shaker Slate. And what do you say to that? Sure. I knew you'd say that. All right then, first I need you to run an errand for me, because of course you do. What's with that look on your face? You didn't think that I'd fix your Sheikah slate for free, did you? Yeah. Mm. Post-slumber of restoration, subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. <laughs> Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside this laboratory? Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. This sweet little gut and stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Ah, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. I presume I need a torch for this. Okay, I'm going to attempt to at least do this, and hopefully my controller does not die in between. And I'm going to have to run all the way up the path with an urn. If this is going to be one of those timed event things, I'm going to be sorely, sorely angered. <laughs> that water's not deep enough to walk. Although, maybe I can jump it? I cannot jump it. Maybe from here I can jump it? No, it's better not even to try. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and give it a go, I guess. quicker for me to go around the side here. Ooh, that's neat. I guess that's what these lanterns are for. If I happen to fail in my journey, then I can just come back and get the flame from here, as opposed to running all the way down to the original flame. Or at least I hope that's what those things are here for. Okay, 
Yeah, just run, run along the outer edge of the fence. Sheeps! Too bad I can't go sheep chasing. I can't help but get the feeling I went the wrong way, though. I think I was supposed to go around the other side of the fence. Oh, well. Oh, low battery again. Tell you what, let's uh, go light it from this torch here and just start again. Grab the light that one. There we go. And once I finish this errand, that will be enough for tonight, I think. It's like a really low-grade version of running with the Olympic torch. Like, I'm clearly not having to go as far with it, but there we are. If I were to actually start dashing, would it go out? I'm not sure. I'm not going to test that until I light the next torch. Not that, uh... Not that it really matters too much, I guess. I'm almost there, but still... Hey. Okay. Yeah. It does. That's what I thought. Come on, Link, you can do it. Perfect. Tino Ancient Tech Lab is now set as a travel gate. Perfect. There, I did your errand. Wow. Yawn. Linky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over here. <laughs> the gun stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science! <laughs> my sweet little garden stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. Daddy. Give me a nice snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Snap. Hmm. That was pretty weak. But that's okay. Okay then. Sheikah Slate repair underway. Garden stone lock removed. Oh. Now, let's do this thing! Camera Hyrule Compendium and album fo album missing files confirmed. Camera? I can I can take pictures with the thing now. Link. Camera instantly render a visible image into a picture. Pictures created are saved in the album. It has a useful feature that connects to the Hyrule Compendium and automatically registers pictures of new entries. Interesting. So is this how I get my memories back? So I have to take pictures of things and that way I can... Okay, neat. 
Oh great, this is another thing for me to collect, isn't this? Oh god, as if there wasn't enough stuff to do in this game already. And it's done! So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here, which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, Album... Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Oh, okay, so, like that. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Snap! How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me with a camera? Pic? <laughs> a picture is an image that is a perfect likeness of its subject. All you needed to create one is a camera. Pictures of animals and objects will be automatically registered to in the Hyrule Compendium. In other words, you should basically go and take pictures of anything and everything. So I can be a stalker. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Wow. Hmm? Who is- my, who is this beautiful young creature? Narcissistic much? Hmm? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's not just a pretty girl in those images. There are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong poss possibility that you accompanied her to all these places where these pictures were taken. Oh right, the last memory thing could prove troublesome. But don't lose hope, it just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help you restore your lost memories. My hunch is cr correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. He knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back a some ancient materials. Bring them either to me, or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my- I don't know where that is, but okay. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. Something good. Aha! I'm glad you asked. Bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. Ooh. You'll need three ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. You need three ancient shafts to power up your remote bombs. You need three ancient cores to power up stasis. We're on the same page. Stop staring at me. Hurry up and bring me this. But I already did. You already have something. Why don't you go ahead and power up your sheep slate? Ancient materials. Ancient materials. Who's Ravi? <laughs> Change for those ancient materials. I'll power up a rune on your. I'm game. So, which rune do you want to power up? a change. If you power up the Sheikah sensor, you'll be able to detect the objects you take, take pictures of with the camera, wow. okay, so. Sure. Thank you. Snap! <laughs> hey oh, got it! Gun stone lock wow. removed. Okay, so I can, like, be here all day doing this, basically, because I didn't sell any of the ancient materials I found, so... I'll probably do this one and stop for the night. <laughs> Next time I come back, I'll probably start with a round of upgrades again. If your sensor has been augmented, search for things other than shrines. It will react when you are close to the thing you have said look for. Head in the direction where the reaction is strongest. You should be able to find the thing you were looking for. Okay. Alright. So I can track animals and things with it now, I guess. <laughs> Yahoo! My little gunstone did the trick. Pika Sensor Plus! I really want to see it. 
Yes, quite. So if you don't mind, how about showing Suman the spiffy Sheikah Sensor Plus later? Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask her about this Robbie dude first, though. Robbie is my subordinate. There, I said it. I think he's still up on the edge of Akala researching guardians. I haven't seen him in a hundred years, though, so who knows? What? <laughs> Anything else you need from me? I'm, I'm good, thanks. How old are these people? Like, like how long do Sheikah live? That's insane. Hi. Good evening. You've acquired the Sheikah Sensor Plus. That should really come in handy. With that, you can sense things you've captured with your camera. Explaining it won't do it justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. Oh. Let's see here. First, go take a picture of a sun room with the camera. There is one behind the lab. Yeah, I'm going to do that later. I'm, I think I'm good with that for now, thanks. Anyway. That's, uh, that, that's all for, uh, me for tonight, I believe. It's a shame that the controller died on me there and is dying on me again, but, uh... Them's the breaks. It's a, if nothing else, it teaches me the lesson that I'm just going to have to be more vigilant with keeping the thing charged. Whenever I have it turned off, I'll probably just plug it in, and that way I'll be certain that I'm never going to lose charge with the camera. But that's just going to be a thing for some other time. For now, however... As always, I am going to have to thank you if you stop by to watch. It's always appreciated. And um, I hope to see you guys next time, which is probably going to be tomorrow. I'm finally, I promise, I swear, going to take a break from Breath of the Wild and probably move on to something else. There's a couple of one-offs I wouldn't mind doing. We've still got some free, free Steam games that I wouldn't mind showcasing and trying out. And I should get back to one of the other games I started before before I ran into a bunch of streaming issues. So, I don't know, it's a bit of a, a bit of a crapshoot which of those I'm going to be doing next, and let's face it, I might end up playing more of this afterwards. But, until then, I am going to bid you a farewell and a good night. So, I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now.